Bruce Lee faces a real dilemma. He's on the verge of a stardom in the United States with a projected TV series on the horizon, but he's just achieved superstardom as a film actor here in Hong Kong. So what does he choose, the East or the West? It's the kind of problem uh, most budding movie actors would welcome. First of all, I would like to say that I didn't choose the sides. I like to call myself a, a human being. You probably want to know which side the mom going to choose. You see, I was born in San Francisco, United States. In 1940, November 27. In Chinese downtown area. And then I was still a baby. I went, my parents sent me back, sent me to Hong Kong. To China. So I grew up and raised in China. When I turned to 18, my father made a decision. And he told me, you know what, son? I'm tired of getting all these troubles you're getting from the school. I want you to just be safe. Of course, my dad at the time, he was the, he was working opera. He was quite famous as well in China. Opera singer. And plus was making a couple of cinema movies in Hong Kong. And I was performing as well. I liked it. It was the way more I was able to express myself. You see, the fighting part, it was necessary when I was growing up in Hong Kong. I have to really stand up for myself. And the police came to my dad and he told me, your son gonna get in trouble. So my dad took that seriously and he sent me to the United States so I could start my new future in this wonderful country, which I was born. <laughs> and when I went back to, when I went to Seattle, it was very exciting for me to see this wonderful place. So I graduated in high school and I mean, I went to high school in San Francisco and then I went to Seattle. This was just a wonderful time where I started to really learn about philosophy and my world was totally changing and I really want to continue what I already trained myself for physically and I started to train very hard and teach some people along the way. I was able to help them out and expressing myself through the exercises, through body movements. And I was really getting uh, good results from my intense exercise routine that I developed throughout the years. And the results for something like people would be amazed when I would do my, of course, most famous. I'm trying to be humble here. Okay, then when I start to really exercise, I was able to hold V shape, elevate my body into a V shape. 30 minutes, sometimes even longer. Hold my legs above the ground, standing on my hands, but in a V-shape. So this is, will help for your abdomen be really strong. Another thing was I was able to punch the back and I would weigh about 300 pounds back, punching back, and I would kick with my sidekick. It was about three feet away and back would hang over to the ceiling and they caught up on the, the metal things that actually hold the roof. Three inch punch and I could knock people down from three, from three inch away using my fist. Another run is I was able to do push ups using only my thumb and index finger with one hand. I could do chin ups 60, 50 times chin ups with one hand. <laughs> one hand. I don't want to brag about it, but I really love the what limit we can achieve as human beings. Because we are amazing creatures. But with dedication and time and effort, we can accomplish many things. Just gotta do it. Another thing I really enjoyed is teaching. When you teach, you learn even more yourself. My students were getting all this is fantastic new knowledge. It was pretty foreign for them and Chinese culture, but I 
don't believe anymore in different styles over another one. You should be able to use all of them, learn from every different style. We call this comparative sport, martial arts. It's when you learn how to wrestle, how to do submissions, how to punch, boxing, kick, takedowns, and it requires different techniques, different skills. Sometimes you can go to extreme, maybe. But on the other hand, it's really universal. This is what I really like about it. You gotta open your mind. Be formless. Like a water, my friend. So you put water in a cup, it becomes a cup. If you put water in a bottle, it becomes a bottle. Put water in a teapot, it becomes a teapot. So you know, water can flow or crash. Be water, my friend. Not a shit. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So the, another really important part of my life was the benchmark, of course. It's when it was really tough for me to get into the Hollywood. So they were letting me in. I really had a tough time with them. And I said, I'm, if, if they're not letting me through the front door, I'm going to get in from the back door, okay? I'm married to Linda. We had two babies. Brandon was a little boy. Of course, my girl, Shannon. And then I went back to Hong Kong. And at the Hong Kong, it was pretty interesting because I had a pretty... When, when I was younger, I had a good experience with the Hong Kong cinema. So I auditioned, got the role, second role. But I, that's when I started to do the first scene, fighting, I should die in that fighting. They really like the way I represented and expressed myself in the movie. So they decided, okay, I should have played the leading role. So I accepted, and the movie was bestseller. I mean, it was really big hit in Hong Kong. Not only there, actually, around the world. And then I was able to prove that, you know, I'm a reliable person. A lot of people don't want to accept me at the beginning. Of course, I understand maybe it's because of financial, if I had money and I own a business, it would be a little difficult for me. I cannot even, you know, I have to think if I'm going to make a profit, right? But you know what? So Hollywood really got interested. So Warner Brothers and another one, Paramount Pictures. So they offered me to do the series. But you know what? They want to make me to be more of a Western person. I don't want to be a Westernized or Easternized. I don't believe in style over another style. So I made a movie with the Paramount Pictures. I mean the Warner Brothers. <laughs> and it was a pretty good hit as well. That's my pretty much. I'm still young and I think I can have another plans coming up right now. It's going to be pretty exciting and I really enjoy what I do. You know, when I was younger, I had a very big ambitions about life. I really want to accomplish something. I work hard. And I really enjoyed what I do. And over time, I built up a lot of resistance. And even though there was no hope, I would tell myself, a convincing voice repeated in my mind. Really important to believe in yourself. I remember when I would listen to a recorded voice of myself, telling to myself, and hearing it saying, I want to be the most paid world movie actor. I want to be the highest paid world movie actor. Some days when I would exercise, when I exercise, I do about 3,000 punches a day. I really work hard and I, feel, I, I earned what I got. At the same time, I don't want to be arrogant about it. But I really appreciate for the people who show me that much love.